Alright, so I'm playing Rengar top this game. I went Cloth 5 because I believe I'm laning against Jace and I want to be able to survive and lane against his early game auto attack harass, but I also don't really want to buy any other item because that would be stupid. Duran's Blade is not that bad, but I just hate the fact that in a melee versus range matchup, if I go Duran's Blade, I'm just going to be vulnerable to his poke, and if he plays correctly, then he should be fine. Um, but Cloth 5 gives me really the most wiggle room. I asked for, I asked my support if he could ward, and he was gracious enough to do so. So that's really going to help me out. And the fact that I have Cloth 5 is going to make their jungler probably play as if I don't have a ward. So that's going to be really, really good for me in terms of just being able to uh, make plays on the Jace, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to try to solo double golems here. I need to pop two health pots now that I think about it. I can pop two health pots, why not? Oh, I accidentally, accidentally cast Q when I jumped back on it. I was trying to get my max Q stacks there, but I messed that up a bit. And I'm going to be a little late to lane because of that as well. Well, I chunked him up pretty hard with that that ferocity Q, but not enough to get him any lower than that. Have math stacks again. What the? What just happened to all the lanes? I'm so lost. I think I could have played the early game better. Oh, he's coming top. so hard. I feel like he's still waiting in the rush. The fuck that was warded? Slow flash up. I'm back here. That was pretty good for us. Picked up a kill. Um, I saved flash and Jace blew his trying to get away from Maokai. But uh, I think we get Duran's blade, some health pots, and a ward. And just run back top. It was okay. Not that bad. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened. Darius is a really good counter pick to Diana, but they like 1v1 and Diana 1, which is very surprising to me. Um, and Diana went Cloth 5 and Darius went Crystalline Flash, so immediately from that, his item efficiency in terms of 1v1 potential is better, but I feel like Darius' other game is just so much better than Diana's, so I was a bit surprised at that result. had no word because he had just died, he came back to lane, he had one in his inventory, but he didn't place it because I guess he just didn't respect the fact that Maokai could come around with no buffs 
and barely any mana and just cast one W. And that was all we needed to secure the kill. Why'd they have that warded anyway? When did Jace really get that ward? Did he start with two wards? Because I remember him placing one here. I guess he probably started with two wards. I just don't remember him having them. I'm gonna get Vamp Scepter here. I got my ult. I could make a play mid, but that Diana seems really tanky. She has Duran's ring plus Seeker's arm guard. I think I'll just let Darius do his thing. And try to keep going ham on top. I think, there, I think uh, Noc, Noc, Noc's gonna come top through that angle. But now that I have my ult up, I think I should be okay. Yeah, he's going, he's going mid now. He has mobies. He's quite fast. I'm maxing this game because it gives me long range harass, which I can use to deal with Jace's auto attack range and poke. And also, I can get the double E strike off for a lot of a lot of harass without having to fully commit to a fight, which is good for me. Um, w max sucks now after they nerfed the da damage on it. Q is not that bad, but in my opinion, having one point in Q and maxing E is superior. Uh, with the current values of Rengar's kit. I'm just gonna sit here. If he wants to get let himself get zoned, I'm okay with that. He's not getting much CS here. I'm up like 30 CS, or 20 CS at this point. And the lead will only continue to grow if he stays back. And doesn't lock up to me, to me in lane. He's also not getting EXP. He's level 5, I'm about to hit level 7. That's a pretty huge differential. I just run into the brush and jump to get the creeps just to scare him. It has a very distinct psychological effect. It makes him feel like if he comes here, he'll be he'll turn into just another creep and get pounced on as well. And that's just gonna allow me to get an advantage in lane. He's he's staying right there. I already saw him. But I gotta maintain the CS though. If he doesn't have to waste his ult, he really never should. Unless he like wanted to kill steel or kill secure, I should say. Damn, he got scared. Oh, my W almost came up. I would have only healed for 200 though. I would have died there either way. I had my ult up, but I didn't actually want to fully commit to that fight. As soon as I EQ'd Ignite Calm on him though, I was like, oh my god, this guy's like dead. I actually might not have had to flash for last auto. I was already drawing Terror Dagger there, so it was either do or die, but I think if I just popped all and do of him with a fully stacked Ross, a fully EQ, I would have had to kill. So in retrospect, that was, I played that very sillily. It could have it been executed much better. But anyway, gonna get a health pot, a pink ward, and a Bilgewater Cutlass, and run back top. Uh, my ult is now up. Jace is pushing this turret really fast. He wants it. Um, Jace has really nice turret damage, so he might be able to indeed get this turret to probably under half health. I don't know. We'll see. I have my ult up, but I don't really want to waste it on this guy. Because I, I know I can't kill him without Ignite up at least. Or if I get additional damage off, but I'm talking about like 100 to 0 kill potential. I just don't think it's there right now. And he's dead. 
She go this way, and I was like, "Oh, I haven't seen her on my ward yet, so I should be okay against not for the next few seconds." But she just came from this angle, and a good flash all by not. I didn't, I didn't expect him to get that high fee on me. Um, I need 300 gold from Blazer and King. I can sell cloth and get 210. I'd still be a little bit off, but I think if I sell cloth, sell my pot, and then wait for like 20 gold, I should be okay. I think I'm just gonna do that just because of how up, how vital an upgrade Blazer and King is. Gotta wait for like 20 gold here. I still have flash. Um, by the time not cast his ult, there was no point in flashing. I was already dead. But if I flashed before he he was in all range, then I probably would have been okay there. I held on to it because I didn't think they had kill potential on me. Monsters 
I have my ult up, plus later in the game. I'm trying to make a play mid. Be a little late there. Oh my god, that Draven ult destroyed. I think Quinn's gonna be recalling. I think I'll just help him kill the turret. Yeah, I actually really like Rengar. Like a lot. I play more often. He's a very dynamic champion, that's what I like about him. He has so many options, how you want to play out like every stage of the game. And if you get a decent amount of farm, his damage is pretty pretty nuts. And he has good slip push potential. Like he like destroys turrets, which is something that I definitely like doing. <laughs> He's backing off the turret. Shelby, ah ouais, Dive that a bit more elegantly. I did use my Q on it. I just didn't have the reset. Uh, I activated my Q uh, as I was diving the Jace, and so it was like it was about to fade, but I, I got the Q off before or before it faded on the turret, and it gave me the attack speed I needed, but it still lived by 14 health. So it was a very pesky turret. I had nothing in W or E to get the, the last ferocity stack off, that's why. I had to stand there and kill it, and since I couldn't kill it, I couldn't do anything. Keep surrendering. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, it's the armor guy. I was like, I'm gonna blow this guy up before the game ends. But he's on like 300 armor. I can't kill him. No, sir. And clank. Oh, Alright, so good ring our game. Got ahead in lane. Got the early kill. And we randomly won a bunch of scuffles after that. Um, when we got the kill, we were like 0 and 5.